In this video, I'm talking about one of the most futuristic innovations to hit hearing aid ear molds since, well, hearing aid ear molds. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Custom ear molds have been around for a while, and I absolutely love them because they allow me to do things with a hearing aid that I can't do with generic rubber domes alone. First, they allow me to create hearing aids that are custom fit for a patient's specific ear canal. So if you're someone who has a very unique ear canal size and shape, using a custom mold can help you actually have a better fit of those devices. Second, they allow me to create custom venting. Now venting is extremely important with hearing aids. If you get a vent size that is way too small, then you start to experience the occlusion effect, which makes your own voice seem excessively loud to yourself. However, if I open up that vent size and make it too big, then you run the risk for feedback or whistling because sound is leaking outside of that vent hole and recycling back through the microphones of your hearing device. Using a custom ear mold that has a very specific vent size allows us to eliminate the occlusion effect and eliminate feedback at the same time while still allowing you to hear all the things that you want to hear. And that takes me to the third thing that a custom ear mold can do, which is allow for a better custom programming of your hearing aid. In some cases, using a custom ear mold is the only way to achieve the prescriptive targets that you want to hit when using a hearing aid. And like I talked about before, if you don't get the vent sizing right, nothing else really matters with a hearing aid programming. So by doing a custom fit ear mold with that custom venting, it allows me to actually program a hearing aid significantly better. And while I absolutely love custom ear molds, there really haven't been that many innovations in custom ear molds since Phonak developed the acoustically optimized venting to reduce occlusion effect and reduce feedback. But that's where Phonak, today's video sponsor, leads the way again in innovation when it comes to their ear molds made out of titanium. Traditionally, ear molds have been made out of silicone or acrylic. Silicone is a soft material, and the problem with silicone is that it deteriorates over time, it shrinks a bit, and it stains into a nasty color. The problem with acrylic is that it's very delicate. You could drop it on the floor and actually crack it. And not only that, but some individuals actually have an allergy to acrylic, so you don't want to put acrylic inside of their ear canals. Initially, Phonak released titanium with the VertoBead Titanium IIC hearing aids in 2017. Titanium is 15 times stronger than acrylic, which makes it extremely durable and also allows them to create hearing aid shells that are 50% thinner than acrylic shells ultimately letting them create a hearing aid that is up to 26% smaller than an acrylic hearing aid. However, in 2019, Phonak took it a step further by releasing their custom titanium slim tips and my personal favorite, the custom titanium seashells. Both of these being available to use with their Marvel line of hearing aids. Let me show you in a little more detail what I'm talking about. The titanium slim tip is a custom ear mold that can be added to the end of a standard, medium, or power receiver wire replacing a traditional dome for a more customized fit with a specific vent size if necessary. Using a slim tip is as simple as removing the dome and attaching the custom titanium ear mold. This is what a custom titanium slim tip looks like in my ear versus using a generic rubber dome. The titanium seashell is a little different because they actually embed the receiver inside of the ear mold. This allows for a really high quality custom fit just like Phonak's acrylic version of the seashell, which I am also a huge fan of. And just to give you an idea, here is a comparison of the titanium slim tip versus the titanium seashell inside of my ear canals as I wear them. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of an acrylic seashell and a titanium seashell. Here's a separate comparison of an acrylic seashell versus a titanium seashell as I wear them as well. Not only do these custom titanium ear molds fit better and perform better, the word on the street is that they are significantly more durable as well. That being said, how much more durable is my titanium than my acrylic? Well, let's go ahead and find out. All right, so I'm all set up here and I only get one take at this and I'm not gonna swing like massively, massively hard because then probably I'll break the board that I'm setting them on. But all right, here we go. First, we're gonna start with the acrylic. And no surprise there, the acry acrylic just basically bust into little tiny pieces. Let's do the same thing with the titanium. And the titanium, I did give it a little bit of a dent 
there, but otherwise the titanium is looking pretty good. Here's a better resolution comparison of the two. You might be able to see that little dent that was left behind in the titanium seashell, but you can see that the acrylic seashell was just completely smashed to bits. Not only is titanium significantly more durable than acrylic, it is also more hypoallergenic as well. In fact, titanium is one of the most hypoallergenic materials that is known to man. So if you've been avoiding hearing treatment because of all the other materials that hearing aids are made out of that you might be allergic to, then using titanium is definitely the way to go. Benefits of titanium aside, I personally believe that custom ear molds are significantly underutilized in the industry and could drastically improve the physical fit and performance for a lot of hearing aid users. So the next time that you see your hearing care professional, ask them if going custom could improve the physical fit of your hearing devices and take your performance to the next level. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.